Hey everyone, today we are going to learn how to clean a main brush, also known as a beater brush, um, from a Roborock robotic vacuum, uh, but this could also work for any vacuum really, since lots of vacuums have these kinds of brushes. First thing you're going to do is you're going to remove this brush from the vacuum. If you're not sure how to do that, please watch my Roborock cleaning video, and then we'll proceed to actually cleaning it. So here is the brush removed. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of hair here, and there is some uh, buildup of dirt um, at the base of the black bristles. So we're going to take care of all of that. First thing that we're going to do is turn these end caps counterclockwise so you can pop them off. Uh, you don't want to lose them, so maybe you just set them aside. Uh, you got to do the same thing on both sides, although on one end there is a black piece that you just pull off first. It just pulls right off. You don't need to turn it or anything. And then after that you have this uh, yellow piece that you rotate counterclockwise. I'm sorry, this other piece you rotate clockwise. And it comes right off. Now you remove any hairs that are caught on the ends. Anything in the middle, if you need to, you can of course cut it if there's a lot. Okay, now here's the brush that uh, doesn't have any hair left, and yeah, you can see there's quite a bit of dust right over there that's just kind of stuck on there. So all I'm going to use is just some warm water, or hot water really, and a toothbrush. Um, and I'm going to use a little bit of dish soap. Um, not hand soap, but dish soap, because dish soap uh, is good at breaking down oils and greases so that they can be removed. So if there is anything like that, any kind of greasy substance on your uh, brush here, it can all be removed. So first thing, I'm just kind of really lathering this up, get nice and soapy. See there's some water dripping down that's pretty brown, so it's good to do. Um, and rinsing it off. Get a little more soap and now that this is all nice and soaked up I'm going to take my toothbrush and just kind of clean the bristles away from the base towards the ends and do that for each of the uh, rows of bristles from the first side then I'm going to flip it over and do it on the other side. And if you have uh, trouble getting your dirt off, let's say your vacuum went over something greasy and it's just not, it's just too much to handle, um, I would definitely recommend soaking uh, this brush in some warm water uh, with dish soap again. And let it soak because Soaking will really help break down the greases, so if uh, attacking the problem right away doesn't help, give it some time and then try again. Looks pretty good now. So what we're going to do is let it dry, uh, probably overnight. Uh, then I'm going to just reassemble it and put it back on the vacuum. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe and like the video. And of course, comment if you have any questions or recommendations. Thank you. Bye.